Hey folks, welcome to Concept. Welcome back to yet another video. In this video, we will understand about an option Greek named as delta, wherein we will learn what is delta, and then eventually we will try to understand how can we use delta in our option trading strategies. So do check out the video till the very end. So let's start by understanding what is delta. So for that, let me just take you to first option chain tool to see where I can find delta. So do I need to calculate delta? No. So this would be available in the option chain analytic in the application. The link would be there in the description box below from where you can navigate to the option chain, which is free for everybody who has signed up with concept. Now over here, the delta of uh, 830 strike price call, it is 0 0.48. What it is trying to tell us that if JSW steel moves up by one point from here, this call option will move up by 0 0.48 rupees and the put option will go down by 0 0.52 rupees so the put option delta will be negative so why it will be negative because whenever the underlying uh, you know goes up the intrinsic value of the put option has to go down so that is the reason the delta of the put option is negative that's number now let's see how these things practically work out so for that, let me just take you to uh, the option calculator in our application. So this is simple. Here we can go ahead and, uh, you know, calculate the option premium. Let's say I'm trying to calculate the option premium on 10% volatility. So over here, if you see, the call option premium is 74.6 rupees and the put option is around 50 rupees. The delta is 0 0.56 and negative 0 0.43 for uh, call and put respectively. So it's saying that if one point up move happens, this premium will go up by 0.56 rupees, the call side, the put side will go down by 0 0.43 rupees. Okay, understood. Now let's see what will happen if Nifty moves up by 10 points. Okay, from 20,874, I'm trying to evaluate the option premiums now to 20,884. Calculate. See, the call option, it actually went up and the put option, it actually went down by how much? Whatever the delta value was, right? So that's from the delta aspect. Now, uh, whenever, so there are few strategies uh, regarding to, related to delta, okay. One thing that we should understand is, delta will also show me the probability of an option to expire in the month, okay. Higher the probability, higher the delta will be, lower the probability, lower the delta will be, okay. So let me just take you to option chain once again. If you see, the in the money options, they have higher deltas. So why they are higher deltas? Because those options are already in the money. They already have intrinsic value. So they have a relatively higher deltas. So for OTM options, the delta would be relatively lower. Why is that? That is because the OTM option still has to turn in the money, right? The probability of that option turning in the money is relatively less. Okay, we can't say that the probability will be zero. If you see, there is always some or the other delta mentioned on the far OTM strikes too. Because the probability is not zero. So there is some probability which is assigned to a particular set of options. So delta in other words will also show us the moneyness of the option and the probability of that option expiring in the money. Higher the delta, higher the probability is lower the delta, lower the probability is now. We can use delta in various different ways. So one of the ways that uh, I can think about is Let's say I am uh, bullish on the market. Okay. So my portfolio would should be such that wherein I am long on Delta. Okay. Wherein I am getting money. So by the way, uh, this is options uh, architect tool in the application. Over here, you can uh, input any of your option trading strategies and see on various levels how much profit or loss you make in this option trading strategy. Over here, you will get to see the portfolio Greeks as well. So for today, we will focus only on Delta. So it is trying to show us that if Nifty, uh, you know, there is a movement happening in Nifty, this would be the impact of Delta. Okay. So every one point uh, up move in the Nifty, this is the amount that we make because of Delta. Now the scenario over here is that, uh, you know, this is long Delta strategy, what I'm preferring, right? Now over here, I can also convert this into a bull call spread, which is I am going ahead and selling a call option of out of the money. Okay. So I'm going a little bit far off, uh, far away from the current strike and I'm selling that option. Okay. Benefit of doing this, 
that if you see i am long on delta net i am still earning 175 rupees for every one point up move at the same time if you see what was my theta earlier so by the way those who don't know what theta is theta is how much premium are you paying to time now you see first you were paying roughly what 300 rupees of theta now you are paying just 65 rupees of theta so still net you are long on delta right you are getting delta benefit that means you are directional in the strategy and at the same time, the theta, you are not losing a big chunk. So you can comfortably remain in strategy for, for you know, next few days or maybe next few weeks. So the theta is not going to harm you a lot. So going, having a long delta portfolio means basically that, you know, you should be net long on, uh, on options, right? You, you should be net uh, uh, buying options specifically call option if you are bullish and specifically put options you are bearish but the outcome should be that every up move should give you some sort of benefit so that's one way of doing strategies okay the other thing is we can also try out strategies which are delta neutral okay so how what is delta neutral so the word sounds very fancy so delta neutral basically means that i am going ahead and keeping my delta neutral at all given points okay so over here, if I just go to oscillate and select this, so this is a delta neutral strategy. You will see the delta, it would be roughly, see almost almost zero, right? Almost almost nothing. So delta neutral is a simple strategy wherein we are going ahead and uh, keeping our delta neutral. So we can do this by uh, various different things such as, uh, you know, we are, in this case, I have sold uh, call options, but even if I buy options now to hedge it, okay? Still, I can keep this delta neutral strategy. So, del keeping the delta neutral means a simple thing that I am not ready to take the directional risk. I want to keep my strategy completely non-directional. So, see, I have uh, bought 870 call over here, which is 40 points uh, above from the current price. Let's say I am buying a 40 points below ka put option, which would be uh, 790 kaput okay so 790 kaput i have bought it now if you see this strategy still will be delta neutral strategy and i am still covered with the undefined losses so i will not make undefined losses in this particular option trading strategy so if there is a big move happening against me still i am not going to lose a big chunk why because i have bought wings as the hedges which are protecting me from the outside so delta neutral so see if the market moves the deltas will change but what we can do is we can keep the delta neutral at most of the points so if the market remains where it is i will earn the theta benefit from the market and that is one of the ways of doing it other way of doing of uh, of you know keeping the delta neutral would be uh, buying options wherein i will pay theta so using architect we can understand delta easily and we can see uh, you know how much uh, net delta i am long or short on a particular strategy and accordingly let's say if i'm having a directional bias i can accordingly shift my legs or add any additional legs if needed so yes folks that was it from this video thank you so much uh, for joining me up till here subscribe and stay tuned along with us happy trading